Eagles. A Loring X Butterfly. Now, usually in my streams, we are gaming and snacking, snacking and gaming. So, if you haven't grabbed your snacks, grab it now. Other than that, back seating is allowed. And of course, enjoy the stream. What is good? What is Happen. Um, we are playing a FMA today. <coughs> this one is called The Infectionist Madness of Dr. Dacker. <coughs> now, usually I play like dating FMAs. I mean, we have played Telling Lies. But, um, we're gonna play this one. Because this one's like a, this one's like a, like a um, mystery type of thing. So I just was curious to see what was gonna happen or whatever like that. So we're gonna just see. <coughs> so I know a lot of the you The faculty guys thinks I've like, gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I can see people's dreams. I've, uh, set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He created the world for his amusement. Something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the, the painting watching me. Sometimes, when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else. Somewhere else. God loves chaos. Wow. But something Some goes wrong. Are Man and woman out. evolve. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Decker, I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because I mean, because I can see things other people can't. On the basis that the central component of our universe is chaos, science can only document a perception of chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. Now, I was going to they say, arrested me. which means that I know a lot of people is we can choose to alter our perception of the world. wondering about the no name matter how much chaos definitely has to do one. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, doing it's much. eating people. And you're just yeah. laughing. You're I like to have a switcheroo. You know, Listen to fresh. me. You're not listening. It's your only bloody what? job. It was definitely needed because, like I said, I wasn't finna play with people. I had still people, like, people that I had done, like, blocked Doctor, or whatever, like, they late. still had access and to after me, all and I don't those like that. Never mind. Let's not keep the then it's like people late. that I knew. And after all those prompters, you're late. Doctor, you're and late. After those, fake and after all those pages and all promises. that shit. Never was, mind. Like, no. I just, you know, I love my peace. And I don't mind doing a name change if it if it requires me to have my piece. Because at the end of the day, you're late, and after you know, all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's I not keep the patients waiting. Person, and and if like, you want anything, just my piece. Oh. But it's time Sorry. for them to go. I forgot. It's either I'm not going to be here. Yeah. Please still have some questions they want to ask again. about. You know. Then after that, I'm dropping but in to see Ben. I just wanted to He's quickly explain shock, that. And I thought we'd show him that we I know cared. a lot of people like, well, why are you doing do that? I really like the name. Don't we? I really like the name too, but at the same time, Good. you know, this is one of anyway, the things. I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's taste. And it's just like, I, I think Mariana is in first. I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later. Like, no. Or tomorrow. No, for me. Probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. We're gonna go ahead and roll with like some people that is 
going to be positive and things like that because that's what type of community i want to build i don't want to deal with all the negative shit like i'm too old for that so anyhow i'm very excited to play this game and because it's a mystery and i'm curious to see what's gonna happen because i kind of like these little fma fmv games because it's like a movie but a game at the same time pretty cool okay so let me get my computer out let me get give me this charger anyways good morning across the world i don't know if it's morning for you it's definitely morning for me it's like i think it just turned six yeah i just turned six i don't know why my sleep schedule like fucking switched up or whatever i just be up bright and early before the birds i beat the birds like the birds around the t- around my time they literally get up like around four i want to say and i be up just up doing shit okay so this is nathan what is nathan about I don't know how we do this. Say, tell me about Dr. Decker. What's wrong with you? Tell me about yourself. What do you know about the murder? So we'll say, we'll ask Nathan. Okay, Nathan. Tell me about Dr. Decker. What do you think about me, Nathan? (laughs) Dr. Decker was a complex man. I spent a lot of time with him. Mm. He won't remember that way. Hmm. Why is that, Nathan? Why wouldn't I remember you? I'm just, I'm curious. Okay, so I guess this one is about the questions we already asked. So we have like different things there. So this is the notepad annotation idea should follow up. Wait, should follow this up. Definitely follow this up. I'll remove or when done. So I'm thinking like the progress notes, like the more we find out about clues about the murder, um, we'll note it in there. What is this bottom thing for? I should find out what's wrong with him. So that is our main objective is to find out what is going on with Nathan. So, okay. So let's ask some more questions. That's the only way we would know. Um... Let's say, why wouldn't Decker remember it this way? Let's first ask him, why was Decker complex? I saw the conflict that Dr. Decker was going through. Let's just say you might look back on your life and think there's nothing you would have done differently. No two days were like him in the end. Like, he couldn't decide what to do with himself. What? He couldn't decide what? They moving a little bit too fast. It looked like they got some upside down butterfly. <laughs> Let's see what she said. Okay. It looked like they got upside down butterflies too. So, okay. So, these are the two things we asked him already. So, we need to ask some more questions. So, we should say... Um, tell me about yourself. I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. So, his name is Nathan Hill. He's a supermarket worker. He apparently doesn't like his job because he said it's like hell, basically, for him. Which I don't really blame him because, you know, customers could be hell you know people could be shitty so let's say um why wouldn't Decker remember it that way um or should we say what do you know no we're not gonna get to that part yet. let's just say why couldn't Decker decide what to do he was like a kid in a sweet shop he had so many options he didn't know what to do I suppose if you take too long picking, (laughs) all your options run away. Okay, so basically, 
is it that Decker didn't know what to do or you didn't know what to do Decker like you're here at the therapist's office he's giving you different options to choose from and it's like maybe he gave you so many different options to choose from that you didn't know what the fuck to choose so now instead of us taking accountability we put it on Dr. Decker did I did I get that right for you Nathan Hill oh okay <laughs> okay so let's say why wouldn't Decker remember it that way oh did we are uh, no these are the questions we already asked so no actually yeah we should I guess these are the questions that's left okay so let's say as far as Dr. Decker is concerned we had Monday then moved on to Tuesday but me I had Monday 5, 10, 50 times before I got to Tuesday okay so he came to therapy a lot on Mondays and maybe the sessions ran real long that it couldn't get to Tuesday or maybe he liked it, his session so much that I don't know <laughs> I don't know with this guy <laughs> okay so let's say yeah you live the same day over and over again yeah I maybe he liked the therapy so much today, to see if there's any clues to see if there's any clues. That's how that's gone. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? The crazy thing is, I kind of wanted to be a therapist, but, you know, it's like... I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This. This is our first time around. I didn't realize I that you. the patients can be complex like this. You know, you would you think people just come in, just talk the shit, vent or whatever like that, but I forget that some people actually do need more time and things like that cuz they have a lot going on compared to others. So and maybe he's I don't know, maybe he's forgot a lot of things too. So let's ask him, what is wrong with you? What happened? How can I solve this issue for you? It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Okay. So I kind of understand what he's saying. There's no excitement in his life. Like he literally feels like his life just repeats day by day. He's doing the same shit. And it feels like the same fucking movie over and over again. Honestly, he doesn't sound crazy because a lot of people kind of feel this way. Like if you're not doing anything that expires you, well, inspires you, you can kind of feel this way, especially if you're going to work day by day just living i don't know the same fucking pattern nothing unusual of course he's gonna feel this way so let's say why does nothing change sometimes it looks different sometimes the bird song will change or or the weather will be less bleak or, the, or that person who nodded at you yesterday doesn't doesn't do it today but it doesn't mm. usually change you need a tragic event for change. Like a murder. See, I told you he wants something exciting. So, you know, he's saying like slightest things change, but nothing like too drastic. Like maybe the fucking lady at the grocery store that works next to you. Maybe she farts or maybe she burps or maybe she does something that she never fucking did until today. <laughs> And then <laughs> that might be the slightest change in his pattern. <laughs> and he, as you can see, he just, he had it, bro. Like, he had it. Do you see the hair flick? 
the hair flick is on point like the hair flick he's tired as shit look he done got up about five to ten times dude we have to help him we have to freaking help him i don't know how we're gonna help him but we have to help him okay and while we're trying to figure out how to help nathan hill uh i do need to pull out my stream manager just because like you know i can't see nothing or anything like that so why are you laughing at me <laughs> what why are you laughing at me okay also i wanted to change some of the stuff because like i noticed like some of my text is still um the same so let's change that okay so let's say alluring hashtag alluring So yeah, we'll we'll do this because um I want to make sure my tag is still there. I usually have my tag. Okay, I think the tags are good now. Okay, cool. So, oh, another thing I needed to do, I didn't realize also I needed to fix my stuff. This is Manage Goals, guest star. Oh, here it is. The was that the overlay situation? I mean, I guess I could kind of keep the overlay thing going on. I don't know. I'll fix it tomorrow. I'll just fix it. I'll fix it later on today. So I was gonna take the overlay off. Okay, so anyways, let's help Nathan. So let's say why what purgatory think I don't know. Because so I'm let's stuck say between that. this day and the next. Most of the time, anyway. Oh, so he feel like he's stuck in time basically okay so let's say what track i didn't see the driver fits? it was my fault i pulled out and the lorry just rammed me well and she was sat next to me i was in shock obviously and when i came to she was so close to me it was like she was trying to hug me but it wasn't right Unnatural bits of metal pushing through. That was five <laughs> years ago. Bro, he went through some shit. I'm I'm telling you, you could just tell Nathan he done went through some shit, bro. He done had it. Okay, um Okay. I mean, we don't want to just jump in and say what do you know about the murder? We kind of want to let this shit un unravel like an onion. So let's just say, um, let me see. Are you here because of an accident? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Let's I've say been that. For that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. 
we probably have a family by now. So uh, I haven't had girlfriend. any relationships since then. Wow. Oh, okay. I understand what his issue is now. The reason why he's stuck in time is because he's stuck in that tragic moment that happened with his girlfriend. Now, I don't know if it was because of a car accident or whatever like that, but he's stuck in that time zone right there. So let's go ahead and say who is Hannah? My fiance. Sure is his girlfriend. My childhood oh, sweetheart. Fiance. We met at secondary school. Hmm. She was head girl. I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. I proposed in wow. Goldshire. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. Sorry. <laughs> walk off. That's cute. We spent a lot of time on that. Wow, that's cute. Okay. Um, so let's say five years ago is a long time ago. I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well, being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. Oh, that's what he It was had. only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? Okay, let's say, what do you know about the murder? Dr. Decker's murder was sudden. Brutal. It's terrible. The doctor. Oh, so Dr. Two Decker weeks. is not even alive. Two weeks I had of rolling days. No do-overs. No Monday, Monday, Monday. I wouldn't kill anyone, though. I'd have to keep doing it, wouldn't I? Few things seem to move me forward. Okay, so let's just see what we have asked. So we asked about what do you know about the murder? Five years ago is a long time. Who is Hannah? Are you here because of an accident? What tragic events? This, that. Why doesn't anything change? Ba 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 ba. So we went through the numbers with him, basically. And. We don't really have an idea of him just yet, so let's just really keep it going. Um, I guess, oh, our one clue is Warcraft. What is Warcraft? So we will have to figure out what that is. Um, maybe we ask him the next time we have a session with him. I don't know. Okay, so we have saw Nathan. Here's Mariana. Mariana, are you going to sit down or what's going on here? Oh, we can even answer questions. I didn't know that. So I asked her, hello. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? Oh, I'm sorry. You want to be the therapist now, okay? Um. Yes, I, I'm Dr. feeling Decker as well. Okay. Um. Why are you here? I Mariana? think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? The police oh. keep picking me up for public nudity. Mm, so you like to show your ass okay um so mariana why have you been picked up for public nudity um i we're just curious out. here and then the next thing i remember i'm naked on the beach like i've been washed up on shore nobody's pressed mm. charges yet but i can feel it the police are getting suspicious Just wondering if the police is having a field day with this shit. <laughs> Every time they pick you up, you're full blown naked, and I'm just, you're probably making their night. I don't know. Sure, in the hell is in the coffee and a donut, so just might be you. Um, 
<clears throat> so, Mariana, um, do you black out often? I or do how suffer often from blackouts, do you black out? which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. <laughs> wow, okay interesting um so we need to go into our notebook here and it says mariana has black else does she remember anything during sustain any injuries should follow this up definitely follow this up i'll remove or when done okay so we definitely need to follow this up because we need to see what is the root of her blacking out why does she black out before I do my question, I can probably think that she has some type of dream, maybe some type of lucid dream, and she's blacking out. I don't know. That's my guess there. Okay, so tell me about the I beach, work for Mariana. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend oh. a lot of time at the beach. It's just really? way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all the sights. Wondering if there's been a past memory, like maybe you had a boyfriend that used to take you to the beach or a family member that used to take you to the beach and like you're kind of stuck in that moment. I don't know. Okay, so... um what did he, he work eventually out, decided Mariana? it wasn't anxiety but i'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis we should have a fresh start i don't want you influenced by the prognosis you know i i thought the key was to be open you know we are having a open discussion mariana and you know I just think it's the way that things have to be. Okay. So, <laughs> um, so let's say, do you suffer Dr. Decker with anxiety? thought I had generalized anxiety disorder. GAD, because of the blackouts. He thought I was breathing badly. Do you think I'm breathing badly? No, honestly, I really don't think you're breathing badly. Um, maybe you are dealing with a personality disorder. Maybe I don't know. Let's say your breathing seems normal. Yeah, you it really does seem normal. If you want. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it. Just oh, if you are, you are very provocative. I see. So you like for the doctor to touch you, basically. Why do you need to lie down? Why do I need to check your breathing? I'm not, I mean, I'm a therapist, not, you know, <laughs> a PR. I'm not your primary care doctor, basically. Okay, so, um... Maybe your I'm breath. I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. Okay. Well, um, what are you doing I before these blackouts? I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? I do actually. What type of dancing do you like, Mariana? Um, let's see. Where do you dance? I dance a lot at nightclubs. I know most of the nightclubs around here. My favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Maybe someone's spiking her drink? That could be a thing, I'm thinking. Um, 
Yes, I like Ooh. dancing, Mariana. I dance to anything with a beat. <laughs> nice. Nice. Good that you have some rhythm. So, maybe dancing causes your blackouts. You think my dancing causes my blackouts? No, I know it's the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but I'm tired now. <laughs> Is that it for today? No. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but we have to get through these questions here. So maybe alcohol causes your blackouts? I don't drink. Hmm. Okay. What about I the prognosis? I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Wow. I mean, that has to be crazy, like, for you to be, like, a doctor and people are depending on you to help them and it's like what if you can't help them I mean that's crazy right okay so Mariana has blackouts does she remember anything to see any injuries and then we have to figure out how we can get her to stop having these blackouts basically I don't think we have any more questions oh we do have more questions for her do you know okay I yeah have you tried to flim your um, blackouts lots of things but it's not so easy to do when you're blocked out yeah but you can like start it before the whole process even go for real okay um can someone watch you, you when you black out? Will you watch me to see what happens? Honestly, yes, we need to. So, it's a date then. I'll let you know when. Okay. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. Damn, she, it's like she don't even care Mr. Decker is, you know, Dr. Decker is dead. <laughs> Dr. Decker say, why was he a good listener? really get inside you. It was uh, unsettling. Whoa. You let him do Pause. it. Part of the process, I guess. <laughs> this girl... What? It's like a big pause for real. Okay. Yes, definitely. Are you flirting with me, ma'am? Wow. Let's get straight to it then. I'm not sure I feel comfortable speaking with you about that at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, I, I I don't feel like this is an open conversation now, you know? I think it's only fair to be honest with each other. Okay, why do you think people will press charges? Or why do you ever find your clothes after you black out? Is your hair wet when you wake up? Why do you hold your breath so much? Let's say, tell me about Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker was just... fine. He had good relationships with his patients, as far as I know. I'm not sure why anyone would want him dead. Maybe he cut off the relationship with her. Maybe they were dating. I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? Wow, something must have inspired her. Something magical happened for her at the beach that she likes to keep going. Okay, 
Um, let's see. Why do you hold your breath so much? I hold my breath when I'm She has more underwater. questions than Nathan. Most people do. Sometimes, if I'm really excited, I'll hold my breath accidentally. Just for a few seconds. I don't know why. Maybe she used to be an ex-swimmer. Like, maybe she used to swim. I don't know. Okay. Um... Why don't you ever I find your clothes? I find my clothes. I don't know why I'm naked. Is someone, like, taking her clothes, bro? Like, someone gotta be taking her clothes. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on. Uh, is your hair when wet when up, you wake my up? My hair is dry, but it's pretty hot at the moment. I get baked quickly by the sun. It's possible I've been in the sea during my blackout. Okay. Um, how long have you been a patient, Mariana? I've been a patient here for three months. Today is my patient birthday. Do I get a cake or something? Not really, but happy birthday. Okay, so. How Life does this make you feel? Oh. I guess we so weren't sweet. listening. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, and no, I never That's been addicted. You need to have a passion for something, Doctor. And let's say this last. I day. guess people see me and call the police. But someone will take offense eventually, and I'll be charged with indecent exposure. Okay, um, perhaps you should ask someone else a question. Oh, we done asked her all the questions, so I think we are about done with her. Let's see what is the main thing. So we learned that um, can she earn enough money selling things online? So we don't know that about her, but we do know she sold um, homemade bracelets online. So that's our one clue about her. All right, let's go to the next one. Is it Elin or Ellen? Hello, Elin. Um, what problem are you here for? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Okay. It can be sad sometimes. Why does it get stressful? I don't like losing a patient. But that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. Um, are you a doctor? I'm wondering if she's a doctor. Are you lying about being stressed? Well, who are you? I'm Let's Eden. say who are you. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Well, at least we have her name right. Um, you mentioned dating. I'm not really looking for love at the moment. I'm sort of married to my work, but in a good way. Hmm, okay. Um, what type of nurse I work are in you, a nursing home Helen? For the elderly. I basically do end-of-life care. Wow. Okay. Um, what's the end usual of life things? Care? Making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, and I talk to them. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't 
out of it on meds. I comfort them. Well, which is a tough job, I have to say. You know, not many can do it because you have to have patience for that type of job. But we do have a clue in our handy dandy notebook, so let's just take a look here. Okay, so sorry for writing in your notes. Say hello to Elin. Let her know that Terry called for her. Marianne's been through a lot. I wonder how all this makes her feel. Perhaps Marianne should stop going to the beach or has somebody watch record her. Okay, so basically they're just going over the things we went over okay so um why that is are frightening isn't it frightened? isn't it what everyone's afraid of the great unknown no no one should have to face that nope. alone okay um i gotta know that Actually, let's wait for that. Why are some of your patients out of it on meds? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated, especially when there are either. alternatives like herbal remedies. I mean, mm -hmm. imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Now, that is a tough question because honestly, like, personally, you know, I had a family member that was heavily sedated in a facility. And I know my family and I didn't like that. But um, if the patient is in pain, I can see why they're doing that. Because, you know, they want to be comfortable. So, anyhow, um, let's say, no, I wouldn't like to sleep through it. Exactly. I feel like it's almost criminal. Like you're robbing people of their last moments on earth. You should be able yeah. to savor the experience, not sleep your way to death. Yeah. Okay, so you mentioned herbal I'm a qualified herbalist. Ewan. It's okay, you can laugh. Oh. Most people think herbalism is a joke. But I'd much rather have my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam, or zolpidem. Mm. Well, she seemed like a really nice person, to be honest. It would be really messed up if she killed Dr. Decker. <laughs> okay, um, tell me about I've known Dr. a lot Decker. of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots. You think nurses are just there Ever to do their bidding candy, right? or worse. Dr. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Nice. Okay. Um, why should people savor dying? I'm not saying anyone should be happy about dying. I've seen lots of people die and it's a special moment. There's literally nothing else like it. Mm. That sounds scary. He was a bit offbeat, but yeah, I liked him. But then I like most people. Okay. It's not the job that stresses me. It's the people I work with, the other nurses. They're mean to me. Wow. They call me the well, angel of death I can feel her on because that. so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean Damn. it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Oh, what if she's the one killing the patients to put them out of their misery? Like, you know, she says she's into herbalism, but what if her 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 um, herbalism products are not really working and they're actually killing the patients? And that's why so many patients are dying on her shift. 
And so now her coworkers think, oh, you're killing them. This is getting interesting. So, okay, um, how many patients have died on your shift, Elin? Mm, three last month. Three the month before mm-hmm. that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. So, basically, seven. Wow, so you are literally putting them out their misery. Okay, so who is Hilda? She's one of the crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me, though. Mm. I think she might be killing them patients to <laughs> Terry's one of the other nurses. At and the her point. eyes is a little bit. Creepy. I don't think she likes me very much. Okay, well, um, how long have you been seeing Dr. Decker, Elin? Uh, I've been seeing him for about nine months, I think. Okay. And, um,. Lastly, what do you know about Dr. Decker's murder? I think it's terrible what happened to him. So awful. No one deserves to die like that. Tell me about it. So why did you do it, Elin? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, next person here. So this is clear. Wanted to get a quick drink real quick. Oh, she's getting a drink too. Okay, so why are you here, Claire? Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. (laughs) Sounds so cold when you put it like that though, doesn't it? Okay, and who my name are is Claire you? Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. Oh, so she's rich, or she's fairly wealthy, and a little bit sassy. Um, why are you paying a small fortune? Being rich has its perks, but honestly. I would give it all up in a heartbeat if it could free me from this madness. Damn, that was deep. Okay, so tell me about your obsession tendencies. I'm obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. I personally don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, unless you're, like, overkill with it, but I think your mate wants you to be, like, into them, right? Like, if you're married and you're not into that person, like, why would they, I don't know, why would he want to be with you, I guess, or she want to be with you? I don't know. Anyways, why is that absurd, Claire? Because he is here, and he shouldn't be. Okay, so you don't want him to be in the house? Why shouldn't your husband be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. Hmm. How did My he almost not a well die? Man. We've been having problems for a while now. Oh, so no bump the bump in the bedroom and lots of argues and just the whole... Yeah, okay, I get it. All right, so why isn't he a well man? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Oh... So you're like taking care of him and stuff. Well, you did foul sickness through <laughs> health through sickness, I think. Is that how it go? 
I don't know. But you said that in your vows, Claire. Now you have to, you have to, you know, stick to what you said. So no skipping through that. Um, tell me about caring for him. David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I leave okay. the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. So you say you were rich, but you can't hire someone to care for him? Why do he need care? Was he in the army or something like that? Ex-veteran? I need more clues here. Okay, how has his health deteriorated? Since I, I need to know this. Altercation. He's become less and less active. His mind's become less and less active too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. So not only is he physically inactive, but also intellectually inactive and the whole relationship is just inactive, right? Okay. Um, what history of violence, Claire? To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. Mm-hmm. How is that? Um, so what do you mean by altercation here? I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter though. The police should never have been involved. Oh, so you are a bit feisty and you like to put your hands on people. I see. So tell me about the violent outburst, Claire. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Damn. Shocking, isn't it? No. Sadly, no. You you look like the type. I'm sorry. The eyes is very bold and you're giving crazy vibes right now. Okay, so why did it you It was a brief moment of Claire? temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, mm. I'm not really sure which. David had been having an okay. affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. Okay. Tell me about um, your delusions here. Delusions? As in seeing things that are not there. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. Maybe you thought he was having an affair with his assistant. Um, and maybe Iris, the name, has some type of effect on you because you don't like the name. I don't know. Maybe middle school bully, high school bully, and you don't like that name now. And because you thought he was having an affair, you stabbed him, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so do you often get angry? I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. She looks scary. <laughs> okay, um... Why is it bad Let's to lose control? Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money. And I'm fairly sure my time is up. No, your time is definitely not up, Missy. Tell me about The most Decker. shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that it didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Okay. So, what is this lake house? David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. 
Well, she is doing rich bitch shit because, I mean, damn, she has a lake house, don't even use it. She's at a whole nother house. Please give that lake house to me. I love it. You know, I'll dive in a lake here and there and yeah. <laughs> okay, so what did we know now? So, um, we have no future notes on her so far. I guess we still have to guess some stuff. Um the main thing we probably got for her is did she kill her husband that's the only thing we have so we can move on to the next person here Bryce hello Bryce how's it going um what is your job I'm a grave digger doctor and people are dying quicker than we can bury them. Okay. And who are you? I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? I did not. <laughs> no, I didn't know Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. I hope Ooh. you're not from the same school of thought. Maybe he did it. Okay, first clue is he don't like Decker. Why don't he like Decker? Let's say... No, let's say what do you think of Decker? I didn't really like Dr. Decker. And for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about Why my own that? problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Okay, Bryce, you know, I see you like to play the slow game, cat and mouse, so we'll just say what is your Originally, problem? I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Mm hmm Okay, so why do you Dr. like Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Hmm. So, Dr. Decker, again, giving you options. And basically, you didn't want to do those options. Okay, why are you depressed? You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Wow, you know what? That brings a lot of light to stuff. Like, I never really thought about why they started cremation. But now that makes sense. Like, you know, if the ground is piling up with bodies, where are they going to fit the other bodies? So now they're giving people the options to cremate people. Interesting. Okay, so Bryce, um, what extra hour? At midnight each day. Time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, mm. normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Why does his teeth look like Dracula? Like he's ready to bite someone's neck. I don't know. He's giving me creepy vibes, dude. Okay, so, um... Let's say, what do you do in the extra hour? See, that is my main question. What do you do? In the Are extra hour, like I mainly story? catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens mm. the mind all at once. Oh, so you like to play chess. Not checkers. Gotcha. Okay, so, um, 
What do you mean by midnight hour? It's a bizarre thing to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. Get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real. I'm thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? I think that you're acting wild as hell. <laughs> okay, so, um, why is it hard to find someone who can use a shovel? Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Motten Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Wait, pause. They have mechanical diggers. Like I know about the the cat. You know that one thing, the cat plow. Okay, my bad. I had to cough and I muted you guys, but I didn't know they had that. Okay, so um, what sort of relic? I stumbled across a relic myself, an ancient chess piece, a queen, I believe, the best chess piece, the most freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. So he must, clearly he plays chess. Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists, but they handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. I'm feeling like there's some type of beef between him and Henry Church. Okay, so let's say... Do you believe in science? I'm not sure I believe in any religion one. anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Hey. Which ones would it be? No, didn't she already have that? Huh? Okay. No, there are not too many religions. Yes, there are too many religions. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable, and the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts. It's more likely they've all got it wrong, than one of them has got it right. Right. That part. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis, but it's good you're having a go anyway. Well, I... Okay, so we still do have questions. Do you like chess? I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. Maybe the popsicle. Use that and just... Or, or you can use... The, um, I think the popsicle. I think that one. 
Okay, sorry guys, I was talking to my son. Okay, so let's say, why do you like planning moves in advance? I do like to be in control, but then I suppose most people do. Nobody wants life to carry them along Ooh. helplessly. Everyone wants to kick against it and make their own way. Do you like to be in control, Doctor? See, he giving me vibes that he might have killed Dr. Decker. Because he don't like to be, he wouldn't want Dr. Decker to be in control. Or controlling his life. And if we're making suggestions to him, then of course. Say, do you know anything about Decker's murder? Yes, I like to be in control. No, I don't like to be in control. Um... Yes, I'm gonna just be honest. If you yes, like I being do. in control, you'll have a <laughs> tough time here. I saw it with Dr. Decker. Such control, such stability. But he unraveled at the end. Okay. How did Dr. Decker unravel? He couldn't keep control of everything, of everyone. He just set us up like dominoes, but we all toppled in unexpected ways. You'll find it all out in time, Doctor. Just not today. Can't have your head exploding, can we? Wow. Okay, well... Do you know anything about Decker's murder? Yes. Dr. Decker was murdered. Kel surprise. Murder does seem a bit harsh, doesn't it? And another it really grave do. to dig. I know as much about it as you do. Less, I would imagine. Okay, so... Perhaps... Okay, so... We asked him everything. Um, our clue question will be for him. Let me see. Oh, wait. Oh no, that's old. Okay, so it's saying we have to. I thought we were able to click on the question mark. Okay, so now we have to speak to Nathan again. This is the next day. Hi, Nathan. It is Tuesday, the day that you are looking forward to. Um, you mentioned a montage. Most of my days are blur. I'm not sure if it's the sleeping tablet someone or just how I've learned to switch off. Okay. Um You're on sleeping tablets. I'm on Tamazepam. Dr. Decker prescribed them for me. He thought I would sleep through to a whole new day. I didn't. And I'm gonna have to be honest, he looks like he's not sleeping. Um can you go back and save Hannah? No, I can't move backwards any more than a day. I don't really seem to control it. It's generally always on. I have to try and change something to move forward. Hmm. Interesting. You played Warcraft with Hannah? We played World of Warcraft a lot together. I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. But we had a lot of memories there. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of life now. The same thing over and over again. Bring me X bunnies to make a stew. Y badger teeth. Rinse, repeat. Maybe I'm just grinding life. Sound like a um, Dungeons and Dragons type of thing. 
Why are you grinding life, Nathan? Tell I'm me. not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. Wow. Why don't you think you're aging? Um, honestly, I know why. Because he feel like he's stuck in time. I will believe that. I'm 57. Kidding. Just, if you spent the whole day at the gym, and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's ask him. Oh, well, we don't have anything else to ask him. So Nathan seems depressed. Okay. Let's say, oh, no, 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 no. It's like a question mark somewhere, but. Well, exclamation point, and I don't know how we get to it. Okay, so let's go to the next person, Mariana. Oh, Mariana doesn't want to talk today? Um... I guess people see me and call the police. But someone will take offense eventually, and I'll be charged with indecent exposure. So I'm guessing Mariana doesn't want to talk today. Let's see. Perhaps you should ask someone else the question. Why doesn't everyone... Oh, so yeah, those two didn't want to talk. Okay, so who is David? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Okay. Why were the police involved, Claire? The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to help each other, Claire. Um, so why do you, why do the police think you're dangerous? I assume they think I'm dangerous because I stabbed my husband. Hmm. Why aren't you in prison? I suppose after what I did, there are people that might think I belonged in prison. What do you think, Doctor? Can I be saved with therapy, or should I be locked up like a dangerous criminal? I think you should be locked up. That's disappointing. Honestly. Don't you want to try to make me better? At least Dr. Decker gave it a shot in his own way. Dr. Decker just had that look about him. You know what they say about us crazies. Takes one to know one. Wow. Okay, so that is about done with Claire. She doesn't really want to talk, especially after I told her what I told her. So. Um, so Bryce doesn't really want to talk either okay well I guess we go to the next day oh doctor glad I caught you I thought you might want to hear what Ben had to say 
quick catch up? Yes. Now this is Jaya. So, Jaya, tell me about Ben. I'm not sure Ben will be coming in for a while. He's still pretty shook up about finding the body. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often in the line of work he's in. Anyway, he said he found the body at exactly 20 minutes past 10. For some reason, the first thing he did was look at his watch. That's all he'd say before he'd shut down. The police weren't very talkative either. Wait, so... Oh, no, that is not Ben. That is Nathan. He works at a graveyard, I believe. So, who is Ben? Sorry, didn't you know? Ben's one of the night shift cleaners. I'm sure he's got some tales oh. he can tell. Okay, yeah, now that makes sense. Okay. So, who is you? Ben found Dr. Decker's body? Yes. Ben found Dr. Decker's body on Valentine's night in his office. In your office. Oh. Maybe Mariana. So let's take a look in our handy dandy notebook. And so it looks like Dr. Decker was killed on Valentine's Day. I should ask the patient where they were that day. So we have to ask all the patients where they were on Valentine's Day. Okay, so tell me about your Valentine's yes, Day. you know, the 14th of February, the day of love, or remembering a massacre, whichever's more you. Okay. Um, how well did you know Dr. Decker? I wouldn't say we were best friends, but we did spend a lot of time together. You know, there's only two of us that work here. I'm sure we'll mm -hmm. become friends too, Doctor. Just try not to get murdered. Okay, was she a secretary? Like, was she a secretary? The police wanted to know what I was doing Valentine's night, you know, when the body was found. I was at home, all on my lonesome. So I guess that makes me a suspect. Wow. I'm wondering if Dr. Decker was the flirty one. Like, was he flirting with all the women in the office? I think the police want you to make a short list of suspects, or maybe even find the killer. You're seeing all the patients that were on the books when he was killed. There was no forced entry, so they think it might be someone he knew or someone who had access to the office. Yeah. Like little old me. Do you think I'm a suspect, Doctor? Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, well, let's, let's see. Yes, you're a suspect. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting that. I suppose everyone's a suspect at the moment, even you. They did mention I needed grief counselling, though, and I said you'd sort me out. I know you didn't agree, but I thought I'd let you know. That's very kind of you. Wow, so you're just going to volunteer me? Um, how did you know how Dr. Decker was killed? I don't know exactly, but a stabbing of some kind. We'll be getting the autopsy through at some point. I'll, I'll let you know when. Okay, were there any clues left at the crime scene? I didn't see it myself, so I don't know. 
but I heard it was a bit of a mess with all the blood and everything. You know, they have people who clean up after such things, though, so you really can't tell, can you? But don't worry. That's the new chair. Okay. So, why would anyone want to kill Dr. Decker? He was stabbed, so that's quite a personal thing to do. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of the patients who had a problem with the treatment they were getting. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really in his social circle, so I don't know if he had any friends. In terms of enemies, I heard things get heated in his office sometimes, but I won't name any names. I know whom. Okay, so maybe you should name Susan, names. <laughs> Annabelle, Melissa. There are some names, but they're not names of anyone I know. Wow. I mean, we didn't even meet Susan. Um, you think the patient killed Dr. Decker because of their treatment? I'm just surmising. If you're unhappy enough to kill your therapist, they're probably not doing a very good job. Right. Okay, so why is it a new chair? All I know is the police took his chair. Forensics, I suppose. Okay. Um. So it looks like we're about done for you today, Jaya. Uh, we can wrap it up here. So why was Dr. Decker working late? That would be our clue for Jaya. And it looks like we don't have anybody today. So we can go next day. I'm having a loop day. Oh. So he's having a loop day. It's a do-over day. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? You didn't know that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Yeah. Well done, Doctor. Yeah, we met at secondary. Wouldn't it be funny? If my day loops, if you fail to get a question right. Hmm. Um. No, it wouldn't be funny. I agree. Did he litter? Did he legit? What happened here? I don't know. What? What's going on? I'm having a loop. I'm de oh, his name. Maybe it's a do over day. Yeah. You won't remember. What's the name of your assistant again? Hmm. Maybe we did something. I suppose like you did that. remember that yesterday. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Yeah, at secondary school. It's been fun, but. I've got a pill. Um. 
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to ask him a question. Now. gave me this pill. He told me if I took it, I'd never have another loop day. It's got a small skull and crossbones on it. Should I take the tablet, Doctor? Um. Wow. Memory like a sieve, eh, Doctor? Okay. You're cool. I don't think this is getting us anywhere, though. I'll see you tomorrow. Again. Okay, so maybe we're not doing something right with him. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to. I'm I having a loop day. Me... Okay, Nathan. You want us to play this loop shit with you? <sighs> okay, let's see what. What do you it's mean? It's a do over day. You won't remember it. What's the name of your assistant again? Okay, let's say Jaya. Well done. Can you remember where I met Hannah? Hannah's saying that at school. Yeah, great. Is there anything you can say that's going to break this loop for me? I never mentioned a pill this time, or a tablet. What the hell is going on here? Are you reliving my days? Um. Something somewhere has changed since you arrived. Like some kind of sim theory. <laughs> this man. <laughs> oh my god. That's what he mean? It's a thing. Some professor believes we could be living inside a computer simulation and someone is controlling us. And there are millions of these sims. And someone somewhere behind a keyboard is just causing havoc. I'm starting to think you have that keyboard, Oh, uh, he likes the Wait, sims. Don't answer that. I don't want to know. Damn. Maybe we gotta say something else. Okay, let's just see. Midnight what is each day. On night? Valentine's night, time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past 10. Keep up, Doctor. I think we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David is my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just naked. I'm Maybe deep. they all kill uh, them together. Is that it for today? They could have all killed them. Shit. Hmm. Deja vu. Are you sitting? Exactly the same place I left you last night. Oh, that's where it all starts, Doctor. Hmm. Anyway, do you think you can fit me in today? Looking at the diary, it's just the usual suspects, and you must be getting sick of them already. I've got this for you, too. It's some more footage from Professor Alderby that was hiding away. Well, come find me if you need anything. Okay, welcome back, Nathan. Let's say, um, how are Hello you doing again, today? I had a bit of a shaky loop incident, but let's not talk about it. Yesterday, I set fire to Hannah's clothes in the garden. 
I, I just wanted the day to move forward. I instantly regretted it. And lo and behold, here we are, a new day. Hannah's clothes are part of ashes. Wow. And wasn't that Valentine's Day? Um... I've kept Why did you do it? all of her stuff as she left it. Just the clothes. I decided to burn those yesterday, so here I am. Hannah loved clothes. Every season, she'd donate her entire wardrobe to some charity or another, and only buy stuff she loved. I was left for the winter. Um, I don't I'm know wondering what her if you used to was. buy her clothes Does and you used to give it away. What's your favorite She used season? to give it away or whatever. He spent his hard work money and then she just donates it. Mm. I thought you'd be an autumn person. That means you're supposed to be grounded and productive. And you like your space. Yep. I was at Henley Church on Valentine's Day. What happened, Ryan? Visiting Hannah's grave. It's the anniversary of her death. Her parents wanted a huge funeral with all the trimmings. Hannah would never have come for it. It does give me somewhere to visit. I got to write the epitaph. I left Henny Church about eleven o'clock on Valentine's Day. I was talking to an archaeologist who said it then covered some fossils resembling a strange cephalopod-like creature. Strange place to find an octopus, really. What? Do you think I've got something to do with Dr. Decker's murder? Maybe you should ask your assistant who Decker saw that day. Dang, we didn't even say, um... You did, you know. You kind of telling on yourself. It was... It was a missed call. It was Valentine's Day, so I wasn't in the mood for conversation. Okay. Um, what did Decker think of you? Dr. Decker felt that Hannah was holding me back. The memories of Hannah. In his opinion, I was holding on to the past. So I guess he cursed me. That's even a thing. Yes. Decker cursed me. I don't really want to talk about it, but let's just say I blame him for the way I am. Can you give me some advice, Doctor? I'm sorry. Okay. So what advice do you need, Nathan? I've been trying to think how I can get past today. I've come up with a couple of choices. I set fire to Hannah's photographs. I've got them in Dropbox anyway. Setting fire to the clothes did the trick. Or setting fire to a rocking chair. She sounds like an old lady, but she loved that rocking chair. Which I've not sat in since. Which one do you think is best? Okay, um, what was the, I don't know how to say that. We walk alone without our angel. Do you feel I've lonely? been alone since Hannah. I can't imagine anyone ever replacing her. Not that I've looked. Do you think I should look for someone else? Um, 
Are you religious? I'm not religious. But when I wrote Hannah's epitaph, I knew the parents would want some acknowledgement of the great bearded one. But she was an angel to me. She was an angel to everyone. Okay. Yes, okay. I think he should. Fine. I'll try. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for, though. Just sign up to Tinder and start swiping. Maybe it's just company I'm missing. But I don't really want any. I was going to say burn the photos. I was going to say burn the rocking chair. Hmm. Say the photos. Photographs it is then. Let you know how it goes. Jeez. So, um, what happened with the archaeologist? She was interested. Maybe I misread. Maybe she was just being kind. I, I suppose most women wouldn't enjoy me talking about my dead ex for hours. Mm hmm. It's a sea creature, like an octopus. I suppose they find dinosaur bones everywhere. Just because we're on land now doesn't mean millions of years ago this place wasn't at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, so what's your favorite season? I like winter. Being snowed in with Hannah, just the two of us. It's paradise. Aww. Okay, so tell me about your mother, Nathan. She's dead. Thanks for bringing that up. Well, well, we left that on a bad note. Okay, well, we will see you next time. <laughs> Hello, Mariana. Do you feel like talking today? Love the dress there. So... How are you today? I haven't been back to the beach since our last session, and no blackouts. New doctor and new hope. You're much better behaved than Dr. Decker. Well, thank you. So, um... <clears throat> how do you feel about I that? I haven't been beach? back to the beach since our last session. I kind of missed it. Okay. Um, why have you missed You do something a lot, you're gonna miss it. I suspect I'll go back there soon, but it's helped with the blackouts. All right. Um, so, why am I- Dr. Decker ahead? dated his patients. That's not good behavior, is it? I knew it. I knew he he must have been taking her to the beach and he must have been giving her a pill to black her out and then, you know, clothes off with the wop. It's just, yeah. Damn, maybe she killed them. I think her name was Scarlet. One of his patients, an older woman. I guess that's how he liked them. Mm. And maybe she has a split personality and she thinks she's an older woman. Okay, so what can you tell me about Decker, Mariana? He went out for drinks. Didn't you know? He said it was a breach of something or the other, but I can be pretty persuasive when I want to be. Hmm. Okay. Um, so did you just go out for drinks? Yeah, drinks. I think Dr. Decker ordered neat whiskey. I have water. I don't drink. Oh. So how are you persuasive? I know, it's pretty hard to believe, isn't it? I 
feel pretty ugly. But I think I have a nice smile. That is true. Um, but you're not ugly, Mariana. Lots of people so find me attractive, but I've seen something truly beautiful. It makes me feel dull by comparison. Okay, so why did you have drinks with Decker? I guess it was a couple of days before Valentine's Day. It wasn't a date or anything. I noticed in the recessions that he'd been acting a little strange. He just didn't seem right. I wanted to find out what was wrong. Okay. Were you jealous, Mariana, of this so-called girl? I have a recurring dream where I find something beautiful in the sea. But I don't know you that well yet, Doctor. Let's wait a while before I tell you my most intimate secrets. Sorry to cut in, Doctor. I've just had a phone call from a solicitor. Ben's trying to sue us for nervous shock. Should I go and see him to talk it out, or should I find a solicitor to represent us? Sorry to be pushy, I just think we should act quickly before it's too late. Okay, well, just let me know. Whoa, she just popped in out of nowhere. Okay, so back to you, Mariana. Um, intimate secrets. Can you tell us that? Wouldn't you like to know? Is our session up now? No. Okay, so what were you doing on Valentine's Day? I didn't do anything on Valentine's Day. I washed my hair and then I walked along the beach for the whole night. It's actually true. I saw one of your patients actually. The nurse. She was on the pier with someone pretty much all of the night too. So I can vouch for her even though she probably didn't see me. Okay, so where, um, no, have you been dancing? Let's ask her that. I've danced around in my living room, but no clubs since last time. I like dancing around in my underwear. Sometimes less. Okay. Well, um, where are you seeing Decker? People are quick to put labels on everything. I suppose Dr. Decker was more than just a therapist to me. We had a lot of things in common, but we weren't seeing each other. Maybe you were delusional about it. Maybe you thought you were seeing him. Maybe something in that sort. Okay, so are you seeing someone at the moment? I'm not Let's seeing anyone that. at the moment. Are you offering, Doctor? Yeah, she's super flirty. Um, no, I'm not offering. It sounded like an offer to me, Doctor. Well, see, that is the thing. You might be delusional. So, were you really washing your hair? Some girls say that they're washing their hair when they don't want to go out, but I was genuinely washing my hair. Do you think my hair is pretty, Doctor? Okay, so I thought Mariana said she didn't drink. Okay, that is our clue. So say, yes, your hair is pretty. <sighs> it's such a mess. But thank you. <laughs> she is I'm telling you, like, and the thing is, Dr. Decker probably liked it this. So why do you feel the need to ask if your hair is pretty? I'm insecure, Doctor. Isn't it obvious? Um, all right, Marianne, 
I think we have concluded our sessions today and um, we found out a new clue new doctor new hope hope for what is it a hope for love was she in love with Dr. Decker and maybe she thought they were dating and when she found out he didn't like her that way she killed them and now that there is a new doctor maybe she have high hopes to be with this doctor we don't know we'll see Elin how's it going Elin um how are you today I haven't had a great day to be honest someone accused me of stealing from my patients which I would never do plus Hilda's hmm. getting worse Wow. Sorry to hear that, Elin. So, um, what were you accused of stealing? This? Well, it started with this. It's a locket. Alice, one of my patients, gave it to me before she died. Okay. So, Elin was accused of stealing, said it started with the locket. What else have patients given her? I thought Marianne said she didn't drink. Okay. So, let's see. What else have your patients given you? Um, I have a few other things. Um, a watch. A ring. One patient gave me uh, a little china bird. They're not valuable. Just trinkets, really. Oh, now what if she's killing the patient? in taking their like assets and then trying to see how valuable these assets are okay so they're all trinkets Strictly speaking all of the patients belongings should be passed on to family members after they but Alice's son never visited he didn't care about his mum why would he care about some worthless piece of jewellery it just doesn't feel right to me. What do you think, Doctor? Am I wrong to keep the locket? Okay, so, um... I mean, if the patient gave it to... I don't know. It's kind of like a yin and yang. If the patient gave it to her, I kind of think it's not wrong. But at the same time, maybe it could have been given to like a family member. You know what I mean? Because maybe the patient was sedated and they just didn't, they weren't in their right mind. So I have to think about that question here. Uh, can you tell me anything else about Dr. Decker? Now, you mentioned Hilda. Let's say that. Hilda's the one I mentioned in our last session. She's dying. I can tell. I need to see her before it's too late. Mm. Let's see. Why do you need to help see her finish her unfinished business? People who are dying always have things they wish they could do before they go. We leave a lot of loose ends in our lives. We're very messy that way. See, I think she killing them. What is Hilda's unfinished business? Hilda wants to see her daughter. She's in Australia, so I'm going to have to use my talent. She's going to trick them? Oh, she might trick her to think that she's Hilda's daughter. Let's just say this. Thank nice. you, Doctor. That makes me feel much better. I shouldn't let what Terry says bother me so much. Okay. So what talent here? I can change my skin. What I look like. I can turn into a patient's loved one. I just um hold the hand and ask them to imagine that the person they want to see is sitting right here next to them and I become them. It's 
It's how I help them move on. That's how I comfort them. Wow. Okay, so how does that comfort them? I only how, ask, work how she can do patients. that. I don't have any interest in using it as a party trick or to deceive anyone. So she wanted to say she's a shapeshifter. <sighs> okay, so um, can you tell me about anything else about Dr. Decker, Elon? Yes, I had a session with Dr. Decker on Valentine's Day. Um, mm-hmm. Three o'clock, I think. Just a few hours later, he was... I still can't get over it. Okay. So what were you doing? Um, actually, I had a date. It wasn't anything serious, just some guy I know. But it was a nice date. Different to what I'm used to. Okay, so why was the date different? It was um, very traditional, old-fashioned, you know? Dinner at a nice restaurant. Then we went for a little walk along the pier. Held hands, had a bit of a kiss. Then he called a cab, and I went home, alone. Wait, Dr. Decker? (laughs) I think it was about 11 when I left Max. I'm sure you can check with the taxi company if you really wanted to, if you think I need an alibi. Okay, so... His name is Max. He's really sweet, but I don't see a future between us. He's not really my type. Okay. So what is your type? So tell me about Max. I've known Max a couple of years, but this is the first time we've been on a date. I don't think he's boyfriend material. And why is that? Um, so who accused you of stealing? Of course it was Terry that accused me of stealing. One of the other nurses, she's actually trying to make out that I'm some kind of HSK. Really? So, what does HSK stand for? Healthcare Serial Killer. You know, like those Mm. nurses that kill loads of their patients. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. Anyway, I I haven't heard of it. Because a few of my patients have died on me, and some of those patients have given me gifts. Terry thinks it means I've been killing them off. See? I told you that she said that every um, nursing home patient give her a gift um, before they die. So I said that maybe she's killing them. So they said um, maybe Jaya should check Aaron's alibi with his taxi company. Elon's accused of stealing, so they started with Lockett. Okay, so how can you tell when people are dying? I can sense it, you know? It's like when you're outside and there's a sudden change in the light or the air feels different and you know it's going to rain. It's like that. I always know when one of my patients is fading, even before the doctors know. They're energy changes sounds silly when i put it into words i sound like my mom okay so how was dr decker on valentine's day dr decker seemed fine on valentine's day he seemed to be in a good mood it didn't seem like anything was bothering him
Okay, well, that concludes our session, Elon. Um, you are free to go. Looks like we um, have a clue. How many times has she shifted? Okay. Alibi footage. Nothing, of course. The faculty thinks I've gone loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? Him, God, the great old one, the elder God, Cthulhu, however you address him. Listen to me, you're not listening. It's your only bloody job. Well, let's call yeah. him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally they alter. They made me to feel bad for the therapist now. God Shit. loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Without chaos, he has less power. When there's too much order, he becomes impotent. So he needs to instill chaos again. And do you know how he does this? No, uh, and yes, but you're being too granular. He needs chaos so he can return, and the only thing stopping him is you. Not just you, uh, you and people like you, psychiatrists, doctors, nurses, anyone who is caring for people who are losing their sanity. You have no comprehension how important your job is, do you? He doesn't need your version of insanity to spread. He needs chaos. It's not the same. It's just a means to an end. They're not all cultists, unfortunately. Once you see the truth, it's hard not to spread chaos yourself, to cause further insanity and harm your own. I doubt it. Wow. But can I make you question your reality? Definitely. But in doing so, I would be promoting more chaos. On the basis, the central component of our universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. As by definition, chaos is unpredictable from one moment to the next. Which means that at any given moment we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. In ten seconds time, Who there will be no he? gravity in this room and we will oh, float. Elderly. Three, two, one. You think nothing happened. Where's your glass, Doctor? Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we can move on to Claire. Claire, how are you today? It's the anniversary of my parents' death today. I went to the lake house. I always go to the lake house anyway. But it's also where they died. Damn, that's why, oh, that's why she don't go there. That explains why she don't go to the lake house. Okay, so what did you do at the lake house? I stood for a while, looking across the water. It's peaceful there. It's the place that makes me feel the most. There was a girl there, by the lake, uh, only about nine or ten. She was fishing, if you can call it that, with one of those nets on a stick. Oh, so, um... How did your parents die? They died of carbon monoxide poisoning. I was staying at a friend's house. Otherwise, I would have died too. Okay. So did you speak to this girl? I don't know why girl? I talked to her. She looked sad. I don't usually talk to children. But she seemed different. Special. I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I, Doctor? Okay, so yeah, she can talk with the girl. Good. It felt nice. I felt like I was being nice. I felt human. So I can find her and talk to her again, Doctor. Okay, 
Okay, so um why was the girl saying David had been hunting again and well she's seen some of the skins he hung around the lake house. Um where is David today? David wasn't there. Or at least I didn't see him. I didn't go inside. Um I forgot my key and the spare was missing. Okay, so what skin did the girl see? Animal skins. Um, David hunts, uh, then skins. It's horrible, really. Um, he's not really good at either job, so the skins still have great lumps of bloody carcass hanging off them. I'm sure he'll get better with practice. Okay. Um... The day Dr. Why Becker was you killed, going on Valentine's Day? Uh, I had a session with him in the morning at my usual time, 11 o'clock. That was the last time I saw him. Okay, so what did you talk Dr. to Decker, Decker made me about? an offer that I couldn't refuse. I'll be taking it to the grave with me, though. As did he. Then I will. I'll look for her next time I'm there. Yeah. Um. Do you love your husband? Love? Yes. I suppose I always will. Okay, how did you meet David? Matt isn't the right word. David has always been there, in the shadows, on the periphery. I move in very exclusive circles. You tend to see the same faces. Okay, so what kind of is? I don't move in any circles anymore. Those people were my parents' friends, not mine. When did you? It was twelve years ago. I was still very young. Too young to be an orphan, anyway. I had to toughen up quickly. Okay, so... I don't know. I suppose she just reminded me of me. I spent a lot of time alone as a child. She said she was trying to catch some strange creatures that she'd seen in the water. I don't know. Minos, probably. Everything's strange when you're a child. Okay, so... Claire, what were you doing on Valentine's night? Valentine's Day night, I was at the lake house, watching David, like I always do. Okay. Why were you watching David? He has trouble with his mental faculties and is getting worse. Yes. I watch him and make sure nothing bad happens. Well, Claire, that concludes our session. Honestly, that concludes for um, today's gameplay just because I'm a bit tired. Um, we'll come back a little later today to finish this one up. Um, so we'll do a part two. Hopefully you guys like it so far. Let me know if you do. Um, also, if you guys have a game suggestion, feel free to type it in the suggestion box on the about me page. Other than that, love and light, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.